So yesterday, year 10, I showed you guys how to um, do a basic light shade or lamp or desktop lamp or any sort of lighting fixture in Fusion 360. And the main feature there was a revolve that we used. So we created a sketch and a revolve, and that was in this video over here, the Fusion 360 training video number one. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to model the actual light fitting itself, the one we buy from IKEA, and we create our light around that fitting. So in here in Fusion 360, this is a pendant light I have designed. Now, that's hanging up at the end of the room down there. It's the silver one. Um, and this is the fitting here on top. Now, you can see I can turn on certain features. So any object that I create in Fusion 360, is in the little bodies menu here. Um, I'm just gonna turn on the light bulb there for body two. Now, it's a good idea. I think I was a little bit lazy on this one. I didn't name my each piece. So for example, if you've got like 10 different pieces or objects, it's good to name them as you go along. So you can name different things by just clicking on there and that's like light shade. Now, this was originally titled Eagle's Pendant Light because I was m messing around with doing different versions of the West Coast Eagles light. Um, and this was just another kind of prototype I made at the time. Now, if you look here, I've got all my sketches down the side here as well. All my sketches are down the side. And my light fitting sketch is here. Okay, I'm going to go into that sketch and I'll show you all the dimensions we need for this item here. Now, we're doing a desktop lamp, which will, will have the light fitting on the bottom, and we'll have a little bit of a stand for our fitting. If you guys want to do a pendant light, that's okay. It's just a desktop light is more, a desktop light is more um, probably useful for you guys at home, on your desk at home. Out of curiosity, hands up who'd like to make a desktop light, uh, or sorry, hands up who'd like to make a pendant light that hangs. Oh, one or two, that's okay. If you do have a spot for it, that's the main thing to think about. Sorry about that, here we go. Right, now, over on the left here, just to jump over into my navigation window, or my project panel, is what I'm calling it right now. I think that's, I think that's the official title for it. Um, I've got all these different projects that I've been working on over the last uh, maybe two or three years since I started using this program. You can see you cre can create new projects here to arrange your work. I'm going to X out of that to get a bit more room right now. We've navigated around the bodies. Okay, We've looked at the sketches. I had loads of different sketches in here. I was just playing around with different design ideas. I'll turn them off when I don't need them. And you can see my shade profile there. That was the profile I used, if I turn off the bodies for a second, that was the profile I used to create uh, the light shade around the fitting. If I turn on the fitting, you'll see that there as well. And now what we're gonna do is, we're just going to go into a new sketch in a moment. Turn on my bodies, drop this down, and um, turn off my light shade. Right now, this is what we're creating. So I'm going to turn on my appearance. So you can see here I've just hit A on the keyboard. This is my appearance here, and we've got loads of different materials we can use. Paint is kind of the handiest one to use. And go into glossy because you've got all those different colors, and it can kind of stand. I find it stands out. Now, if you see, um, if you see like a little download option beside the object, it just means you have to download the material onto your computer. All of these are pre-downloaded. So I'll just grab white and I'll drag it over here. Here we go. Let's see, maybe drag it from up here onto my shape. And now it's the white fitting, okay? Now is probably a good time to create a new sketch. File, new design. And now you can see here, my sketch planes are not visible. For some reason, they don't turn them on straight away, uh, but if you click on the origin up here, you can turn on your, all your sketch planes. When I'm creating a light fitting, I'm normally sketching on one of these two planes. It doesn't really matter, I find, but this plane here is the front plane, and I find that's an easy orientation. So I'm gonna create a sketch 
on here and this is going to be my light fitting. Now I'm just going to sketch it without dimensions right now and you'll see in a moment how I can easily dimension everything in a moment. So the rough shape of my light shade is something like this. Now notice I'm only, um, obviously that's not in proportion, it's not spot on yet, but I'm going to dimension all that now in a second. So I've got my basic shape. Um, what we're going to do here now is we're just actually designing half of the light fitting because we're going to revolve this shape around the central axis right here. So if I go back here, instead of measuring the fitting that's in front of me, I'm just going to go back to my original sketch and right click on the sketch, edit the sketch, and we will see what we originally had. So if I zoom in here, this is my original sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dimension this here. I'll hit D on the keyboard, click here, out to here. This is 13.5. I'm actually going to modify this slightly uh, to give a little bit more wiggle room. And the actual size of the light fitting is 27 millimeters in diameter. So that's 13.5, and that's the radius. However, um, if we get a little bit more wiggle room, if we, if we go up to 14, you'll find it's an easier fit. Okay. Now over here, I've just dimensioned at 5. I'm going to click from here to here. And we have that set at 25. And there are main measurements right now. You can see that the thickness of this is one millimeter. So we got our width, we got our height up to this point, and we got our height and our width here. That's what we need. So if we go back to our other sketch, what we can do is press dimension, click on here, over to here, and hit five and return on the keyboard. Obviously that's too high, so we'll dimension this section here. That is one millimeter and return. Next up, we will click from here to here. And that's going to be 14, I believe I said. Yep. And from here to here, that was 25. And I also need to measure the top section. I'm going to call it 20 millimeters right now. Might need to modify this a little bit later. Click from here to here. 20 and this is our light fitting now um, this little section in here this little line I'm gonna trim it so I hit T on the keyboard for trim you can also find it up here in the sketch menu trim and I'm just going to delete this little section in here now it looks like there's two overlapping lines so I have to delete it twice and now we have our light fitting I'm gonna stop the sketch and create a revolve so I will go to create, revolve, and my I've pre-selected my shape. That's the profile. The axis can be any line. So I'm going to click on this sideline here. There we go. And you can see Fusion has figured out what I want to do. So uh, that's my light fitting there ready to go. And I'm going to hit OK. Once again, to change the color, I can hit a on the keyboard, go down into paint, find uh, whatever color. Oh, we'll pretend we've got a green light fitting just for fun. Pull this over here. There we go. That's my green light fitting. Hit the home button up here, and that's what we have to work with. So you can see in my other sketch that I've created a pendant light. Uh, let's stop that sketch there and check out the body and hit home. So we're actually creating our shape up on top of this fitting right now. So here we go. I'm going to start modeling around this shape here. And that's going to be the next step in the process. So I'm going to stop it there so the video doesn't get too long. And thank you for your attention, year 10.